<laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Okay, you guys, today I'm in a beautiful Southern California river, and we're gonna play a little game called Native versus Invasive. What we're gonna do is catch as many different types of fish as we can, put them in this tank that we filled up, and survey to see if California has more in native species in the wild or invasive species like Florida. Let's go get them. Jump out. Caught our first fish here, which is a native. So we got one point for native. We got a largemouth bass, a baby largemouth right there. Little billy bass. Beautiful one, another native. All right, a beautiful bluegill sunfish. Two natives. We're on a good, we're on a good track here. We got two natives and no invasives yet. Right into the net, in the current. Thought he was escaping, silly little bugger. All right, we have species number three here. Uh, this is not a good one. This is our invasive Asian carp. So two for native, one for invasive so far. Throw him in the tank. All right, so historically, when I've come out here, I've seen all kinds of different things, but it always depends on the seasonality. There used to be trout in here. I've seen catfish in here. I've seen some carp, but never the abundance I'm seeing. I've seen bass a lot of times. I haven't seen bluegill before. And because this has been such an astoundingly wet year in Southern California, we're seeing a different type of bathymetry and a different type of uh, species dynamic in these creeks. So, so far it's pretty fun. We haven't got a lot, but we'll keep going and see if we can find a few more species. Nope. Aha! Mosquito fish. Another species. There's a catfish. There's a catfish right here. <laughs> yeah, baby, let's go! Oh man, we got a fifth species and it is a big one. Hold that, cow. Oh man, I did not know if we were gonna get him. But look at that big channel cat for the tank, for the species tank. <laughs> How sick is that? Whoa, I don't wanna lose him. That is awesome. Catch a big channel cat in the net like that. Look at this. Oh, I did not know if that was gonna happen. We could take that home and fry them up right there if we wanted. We're not going to, but we could. How cool is that? <laughs> Sick! Look at that. In the bucket. Okay, so we just finished our tally of catching all of the different species of fish that we could find in this river system. So let's see what we have. First up, uh, we have these mosquito fish from the shallow area. Caught three of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is great. I thought these were mosquito fish, which are a horrible non-native that are aggressive and eat mosquito larvae. These are California roach. So this is one for the natives. This is really good. This is a really good start. We've got a native species to start us off, the California roach. That's awesome. Next up, we have a non-native. This is your Asian carp. Kind of beautiful. This isn't the prettiest one. Some of them here have these crazy variants where they're super gold, super yellow. This is just your standard drab, ugly old carp. These are a non-native. They're from Asia. They were introduced for fishing as a sport fish, but they're boring as hell to catch. I don't know, and some people are definitely gonna get upset, especially if you're from England, but they are. They're just not a fun game fish. They get big, they pull hard, but they just slurp stuff off the bottom, including things like these little roaches. So they are a, uh, a problem fish, that is for sure. Next up, uh, we have this beautiful little guy. Whoa, almost dropped him. That would have ruined the whole game. And this is a California sunfish. I think it is a bluegill, specifically. Beautiful little sunfish. Uh, sunfish are native throughout the United States. There's a zillion different species and subspecies, but this guy is very cool. You see the little black tabs. This is a native species. He's undeniably very good in this water, can coexist with these roaches. Very cool species of fish to have found here today. So far, we have two for natives and one for invasives. All right, moving on, a personal favorite of every freshwater fisherman, the largemouth bass. 
They're particularly beautiful when they're this size. Um, they're really fun to keep in an aquarium, by the way, because they eat everything. They're like keeping Oscars or something like that. There's a whole bunch of different TikTok and YouTube accounts where people catch bass, throw them in their tank, and grow them up really big. But for us, very nice to have yet another native. So at this point, we are three for natives, one for invasive. And the grand finale, uh, it's a win for the natives by a landslide. Haha, <laughs> take that, Florida. Um, we have somebody that I never expected to catch, which is this huge channel cat, another native. It was way too big for the little tank that we brought because I was never expecting to catch such a big fish in the net. But look at that, how cool is that? So in the native category, uh, on the game fish side, we have largemouth bass, sunfish, channel cat, non-game fish, we have the little California roach, and on the invasive side, we have the Asian carp. Well, it's nice to see that the California natives are still winning. Um, unfortunately for this guy, this carp, you're gonna become turtle food. But everybody else, you get to go free, make some more babies, and keep our ecosystems beautiful and healthy. See ya!